We've likely all been cold and have felt ourselves shivering. Those random firing and shaking of your muscles are a really good way for your body to build up a lot of heat and to keep warm. In extreme cases, as much as five times a resting level of heat production. But is it the only way for you to keep warm in the cold? We'll take a look at that in today's episode. What's fascinating is that we can actually increase our heat production without shivering. This is done within specialized fat cells called brown adipose tissue or brown fat. Brown fat is like normal fat cells but with two major differences. First, they have a lot more mitochondria which is the energy producing power plants within the cell. Second, these mitochondria have a lot of this special protein called uncoupling protein or UCP. What's special about UCP is that they take food energy and convert almost all of it to heat instead of the normal path of heat plus energy that our muscles use to move. We've long known about brown fat in mammals that hibernate in the wintertime. We also knew that it was there in newborns, but until recently thought it disappeared by the time children reached their first birthday. Now, thanks to better imaging tools, we know that it remains in adults, with most of it found in the chest underneath our collarbones. Wakabayashi in 2020 tested a very simple question. If you have more brown fat, did that raise your heat production when you are in the cold? To do this, they put people with either a high or a low amount of brown fat in the 18 degrees Celsius room while wearing only light clothing. This temperature was chosen because it was colder than normal, but not so cold that it caused a lot of shivering. They found that it was the case that the group with more brown fat had a higher amount of heat production. Brown fat isn't the only place in the body with uncoupling protein. There is also a lot of this protein in our muscles. So Wakabayashi tested this question also. Whether having more muscle mass meant that you produced more heat without shivering. In this graph, we have the amount of muscle on the bottom line and the amount of heat production on the vertical line. You can see that the graph was all over the place with no clear pattern, showing that having more muscle did not mean more non-shivering heat production. So to summarize, this study shows that brown fat can and does respond quickly to mild cold, and that it is an important way that the body keeps warm in the cold without always relying on shivering. That's pretty cool. I hope that you have enjoyed this peek into the fascinating world of environmental physiology. I'm Stephen Chung, and I run the Environmental Ergonomics Lab at Brock University in Canada. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel and check out our other short science episodes. If you want more detailed environmental physiology seminars, please check out our virtual environmental ergonomics series. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.